Hello, I am Vidi of Video Games for Fun. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the three year celebration of this channel. I can't believe this channel is three years old. The main reason I can't believe it is because I actually used to do YouTube videos before starting this channel. I did mostly vlog videos, which rarely talked about gaming, if at all. Also, I didn't think this channel would last long in terms of committing to uploading content to it. Maybe this channel might have only lasted for a few days, weeks, months. So, come and join in the celebration of Video Games for Fun, as I look back at the journey and talk about where the channel is now and where it's going. Overall, some things will be revealed about the journey that may come as a surprise. And this will be done alongside the positive, reflective nature of a celebration. I hope you enjoy. Let's get started. Uh -huh. First of all, let me introduce myself, or as a reader juice. I'm 31 years old. I live in Melbourne, Australia. I wear hearing aids. My nickname, Vidi, has pretty much been a part of my whole life. To the point where I thought it would be a good YouTube channel name. As in, Vidi O Games? For fun? As well as playing video games and analysing them, I like to read, indulge in films and TV shows, listen to music, especially video game music or VGM, play piano sometimes, yes, I obviously have other interests besides games. Now, how and why did this channel begin? I had thought about doing a gaming channel for some time. I thought about doing a Let's Play channel before making a second channel about reviews and other similar gaming topics. Turns out, the second channel is this one. Video Games for Fun was the name I came up with, complete with my nickname, Vidi. I did think very early on about changing the name around the time I started doing reviews, and I know there's my secondary channel Vidi Plays, we'll come back to that. While preparing the channel, I saw that the YouTube channel Frequency, hopefully it'll come back, put up a Super Mario Maker challenge, and I decided to attempt it. A lot of times. Very badly. Fetch! No, stop! Just for goombas, jump out. Why does that always happen? At the same time, I uploaded videos of a Dalek playing the games Jill of the Jungle and Subinis. Yeah, yuck! Uh oh. Both pizza trolls denied that one topping. They have denied it. They have denied it. They have denied it! Data analysis shows that videos of the Dalek interacting with the games have not been uploaded. You have disobeyed the Daleks! Ah uh, yes, you did play Resident Evil, and I should have uploaded a video about that at some point. Ah uh, well. When finishing my first ever review, which was for the game Sork Nemesis, I decided to mostly stick with that style of content. While I've enjoyed the concept of reviewing games ever since I was a teenager reading magazines and internet articles, including lists of the best games, one of the first proper inspirations for reviewing games on YouTube was Resident Ark previously known as Dark Pixel Gaming. Very early on, they did in-depth reviews of the Final Fantasy games. I was discovering Final Fantasy games at the time and enjoyed the interesting analysis of such games, not to mention aspects of gaming in general, such as storytelling, gameplay mechanics, and design. The presentation, the music, as well as researching and thinking about what the developers' intentions and decisions behind developing the game were, and how and if they were carried out. For the longest time, game reviews provided me a way of looking at a game in a deep and complex fashion to understand how games are structured, designed and presented, and to look at games as an art form alongside being fun, leisurely entertainment. And Dark Pixel Gaming, now rebranded to being Resonant Arc, inspired me to want to make video reviews of video games that are as entertaining, interesting and in-depth as possible, possibly even in a professional manner. Since then I've discovered so many gaming channels, some of whom are subscribed to me and have been very supportive on this journey. Thank you. So, after the Zork Nemesis review, things seemed to go okay, until... my Mac died at the end of 2017. I was wondering if that was it for my channel, with no more Final Cut Pro 7, editing software that I had used for a number of years. Then, I got a new laptop with Adobe Premiere Pro, which I've been using to this very day. In March, when I was doing my Super Mario RPG review, I wanted to get footage from Super Mario Brothers, and I figured I'd actually try a Let's Play of the game. Not long after that was the Mario Party 2 multiplayer commentary with my friend, Mary, a multiplayer project that we wanted to do for months. Then I created the secondary channel, Vidi Plays in May 2018, to continue my Let's Play projects that wouldn't get in the way of my reviews, and my new gaming memory series, or even the Vidi Discusses videos that started towards the end of my first year. Mm. 
never interrupt me during that let's play or recording session. You gotta you know. get to the platform in the middle. Hold on, I right, a pause. Oh, no, no, never mind that. Oh, there we go. The phone rang. <laughs> destroy them all. I will destroy you. You fiends. You will all pay for all this torment I've suffered in this level. You exterminate. Dalek, not you. You're not supposed to be. What? <laughs> that was very close to not being a fault, Mr. Referee. What's that, Mario? It's the referee? Hey, I'm Mario. You, excuse me, excuse me. Oh, no. I mean, they haven't played Mario Play 2, especially the virtual console version. Anyway, no, Yoshi, Yoshi. No, it's Yoshi Land. <laughs> 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 Whoops. Uh, was that? <laughs> we laughed so hard, we caused the pause menu to come up. Uh, but that's what I'll do next time. Whenever Yoshi's in a mini game, I'll say, no to Yoshi land and Yoshi will lose. <laughs> oh, that is just so mean. No, I have 15 seconds to survive. For... <laughs> that was me. I guess I rest my case by I just like that game. Anyway. <laughs> the second year that began after the Chrono Trigger review in August 2018 got off to a decent start with the Banjo-Kazooie live streams that celebrate the game's 20th anniversary. It is called Clanker's Cavern, is it? Because I think it's Clanker's in Banjo-Tooie. Yeah. Wait, what? What's that? I have never seen that Mumbo token before. But <laughs> I got so excited over a Mumbo token, I fell in the water falling in water people have been falling in the water of banjo kazooie for 20 years now ah memories banjo kazooie i have not played world of warcraft but i will say this leroy jenkins oh my gosh he just used a gold feather just just stick to a plan get the jinjo leroy get the jinjo leroy get the jinjo gosh darn it leroy Gosh darn it, you're a moron. Leroy, you are just stupid as fetch. At least I have chicken. <laughs> then there was PAX and my 30th birthday where I looked at the games I played over the years. But at the end of 2018, things started to change. Not only did I decide to look at Super Smash Bros. Ultimate in multiple videos, but my job that I had for pretty much all 2018 ended, which affected my mood. It was unusual to have more of a day slash week to try and focus on my videos. Then something happened that really affected the amount of content I made. I got a cold in April that lasted for four months instead of what should have been a week. The Kingdom Hearts 2 review got delayed. That is where I decided to lazily put together video game music compilations. The series that is now discontinued. Still, I just about managed to recover in time for the end of the second year where I did my longest, and will probably remain so, review ever. Persona 5. Not this time! <laughs> okay, wait, 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 no, please, please, come on, give me a bit more of a juice, give me a bit more juice. <laughs> also, why am I pressing A for that? Okay, I may not get Donkey Kong though, so Donkey Kong is probably your lord and saviour. <laughs> okay, fine! <laughs> I'll try Donkey Kong, this is a little joke. <laughs> Let's see how well he does. So, fine. <laughs> <laughs> no, not again. <laughs> Thank goodness. Uh oh! <laughs> no! Oh. 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 oh man, that would have been a fun way to get rid of you guys. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see who stops. Who's making the bet? Who's making the bet to. Oh no. Hey, this bus continues on to Tucson. Do you want to get off here? 
No! <laughs> I meant to press yes. I have played too much Zelda Ocarina of Time. <laughs> Be right back, guys. Okay. Go oh, no! Did you see that? Did you see that? Yay! I don't care, I just want out. I did it! Woo! Woo I've completed the game! Not quite. <laughs> so no, oh yes, you can do that too. I can shoot. Oh yes, I can shoot you. <laughs> can, can you show me? Do it again. Oh, oh maybe. Um, <laughs> wait, 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 can you suck it up? Oh, never. Um. What? <laughs> they hate me. Look at this. <laughs> Mary, say something. <laughs> I said say something, not laugh. <laughs> the third year overall is where I feel I experimented the most in terms of the content I would make. I looked at a long requested game review in an unusual way, I reacted to the silver screen showdown videos made by the Nintendo reviewer, and I even got to play Friday the 13th with the Nintendo reviewer on his live streams. I'm Jason. Wait, Vinny, you're Jason? Oh boy. I think I'm about to get killed by one of my fans. Not gonna make it easy though. Uh oh, am I gonna get kicked from the match because of a poor connection? Come on. Ah, no. No. Network error connection timeout. Great. Editing out as much of the footage as possible has resulted in there being no mention of puppies. Oh. No, thank you. I mean, it's cool. I'm playing with the fan, but oh. Oh, okay. I was about to die too. And most recently, after a week of Sonic games, after getting a lot of views on my first unboxing video, I started doing a podcast, which I'm trying to do weekly. The Video Games for Fun weekly podcast will surely continue in my fourth year, alongside more reviews, memories, discussions, and so on. Not to mention the on and off continuation of Vidi Plays. Oh, can you open that for me, please? Oh, I'll do this. <gasps> <laughs> I know I've just basically killed a guy, but... <laughs> I just also what I had to do just then too. I've... I... I... Oh, what a... Oh... Oh... Oh, dear. <laughs> Come on. I may get all seven of them with it. No! <laughs> you traitor! Ah, uh, you remember the controls there? Uh, well, yeah, AA's for a B's back. Yep. Yeah. Work stuff. Oh, wait, I forgot. I showed you the control. I showed you the controls for my team. <laughs> no. Ah, go. Grab it. Grab it. 
We've got all three keys. The key is Scarecrow. Now, yes, another energy drink if we, uh... Well, just... Oh! <laughs> Game! Why did you pause like that? Because... Yeah, I've never seen that before. Try and get all the money before it disappears, too. Yeah. Oh. Now I'm stuck. <laughs> How did you get stuck? Oh, oh, I had to... Oh, sure you can go through because you made it goo. Nah. Um, uh, I'll have to, uh, yeah, you pr maybe press down the control stick to just, oh, oh there you yeah, go. Yeah. <laughs> no, get away! Ah! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> that was the survive until mum kills you moment. That's survival horror right there, folks. <laughs> oh boy. Speaking of the on and off continuation of video plays, this is where I reflect on the journey. Things felt different when my job ended and I got sick for four months. And of course, there's that hope I and so many others had that 2020 was going to be the year. This is where the words balance, motivation, and creativity come into question. Not to mention mental health that I won't talk too much about. Was I more motivated to work on videos when I had more work? Did an out of nowhere commitment actually make the Persona 5 review possible? Actually, were there points well, I was close to ceasing to make content for this channel. Yes. When changing computers and editing software, when jobs ended, when I was unsure if I was motivated to continue, especially during this year, it hasn't been easy. I'm not necessarily an expert on technology where things such as the Elgato and streaming are concerned. I actually do want to try streaming on Twitch and sometimes on YouTube, so I'm not just playing slash capturing the footage and editing for hours. And I have other interests, like I mentioned earlier. I'm inspired by various books and films. And yes, I've reviewed a few films related to video games. Plus there's music, some of which I tried to figure out on piano. I'm interested in other creative ideas, including an idea for a web series pilot. Or oh, should that fail a short film? Yep, a web series that may start another channel. The world I've created for it is one I sometimes don't want to abandon, which is probably just how creativity works. This means that things such as the Video Games for Fun weekly podcast have allowed for branching out into other styles of content. I do occasionally wonder if taking inspiration from Resident Arc and other channels and reviewers has boxed me in for a style of content. Maybe I'm also a Zork Games person. Is the non-gamer slash level up gamer slash experienced gamer idea working outside of just mostly reviewing the games? And does Aya Stark no longer have her list that involves killing, uh, I mean, requesting games to review, that should come back. To be fair, this channel is only three years old, with the most important milestone being that it is the longest I have kept a channel going on this platform. This channel is still young to an extent, and I hope it lasts longer. I've learned things, and I still am. I did learn one thing. If you say in your video that you're going to show your mug collection, actually do it. You show your games collection instead, someone will unsubscribe. Hmm, April 1st. On that note, I want to thank any one of you watching, whether you've been doing so recently or for weeks, months, or even most of all, if not all, for three years. Thank you all so much. Much of this content and the motivation to continue making it wouldn't be possible without you people and my family and friends. Thank you also to my family and friends who have helped me out with the content, including the Vidi Plays projects that you've only seen moments of here. It is a bit of a cliche to say thank you in this way, but I really mean it. Thank you all so much. And I hope you have enjoyed this celebration and reflections of a three year journey that may have revealed more about what is beneath the mask. Speaking of beneath the mask, I want to finally end this video with a montage of the past three years set to that Persona 5 song, except it's the remix from Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Have a good day or night or whatever it is, and uh, wait, what video was it where that ending phrase actually started? I have no idea. Maybe. But on that note, uh, thank you guys for watching, listening. This has been Vidi of Video Games with Fun. Have a good day or night or whatever it is, and I will see you very soon. Thanks for watching, and see you in year four, and maybe beyond, for more games to review and gaming discussion. Until next time. Searching all along, give us a
dwell on and on without a clue, without a sign, without a question yet. The real question to be asked, where have I been? I'm a chef chef at this masquerade, hiding this face of mine, a free for you to draw. I'm a chef chef what a shit to be, but don't take off my mask, revealing God. Nothing to be found A mirror in front of me That's where I find An empty glass Reflection does the truth It's everything what's all to be told I need the mask I'm a chef shifter Apple's masquerade Hiding both face and mind A free for you to draw I'm a chef shifter Chained up to my core But don't take off my mask My place to hide There's nothing inside When it always me Burning down the walls Is that a way For me to break I'm a chef shifter At Booth's masquerade Hiding both face and mine Afraid for you to draw I'm a chef shifter Have no face to show Please don't take off my mask My disguise Sky. 